and smoking's not permitted in the corridors. You'll have to go to the foyer of the bar. Oh, right, I'll just put it out. Thanks, sir. Where's the nearest bin? We don't have bins in the corridors. Would you like me to show you to your room? I haven't got a room. I'm just waiting for a friend. I'll have to ask you to wait downstairs then, madam. Right, I'll get the lift then. I'm sorry, smoking's not allowed in the lifts. Oh, what a surprise. I'll take the stairs then. Third floor. Yeah. What room number is it? Um. Well, it'll be on your key, is it? In your bag? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I must have left it in the restaurant. This is some sort of little game you're playing with me. You bastard! <laughs> well, you took your time. I was wondering how far you'd take it. Did you actually book a room, or did your pathetic little plan not include that? What are you talking about? You must think I'm stupid. Did you really think I wouldn't recognise her? Don't try and wriggle out of this. I saw you with her last night, celebrating your birthday. And you wrote a bloody article on her last year, didn't you? Just keep me out of this. I said I didn't want to get involved in the first place. Now, can I have my keys back, please? Shit, I've left them in the ignition. How did I get myself into this? Found you. What are you doing here? Looking for you. There wasn't a deal on here tonight, was there? Oh, don't you start. Was there? <sighs> no. Sorry, I just had to. Doesn't matter. Don't have to tell me. I trust you. I've been trying to ring you, but your mobile's turned off. The retreat's free for a week. If you fancy it. Oh. If you knew who she was, why were you just about to shag her? I wasn't. I just wanted to see how far you'd go. Oh, I don't want to hear any more of your lies. As far as I know, you're still sleeping with other women when you said you weren't. I don't lie, Val. But if you choose not to believe me, that's your problem. Uh, don't make me laugh. So why did you say you were going to college this morning when you were going to see one of your clients? Who told you that? The agency! Look, she always says that. It's to make the escort sound popular. You've got an answer for everything. So, so tell me this, they are paying you just for the pleasure of your company? Amazingly enough. You're all the bloody same. I've had enough of this crap in my life. Doors closing. Doors closing. Val, what's happened to you? I don't understand what's gone wrong. I never know where you are or who you're with. You only have to ask. I asked you once whether you wanted your own head for me electric toothbrush. I didn't see you for a fortnight. I was working. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. You get a spare head with it. It was in the drawer. Oh, for God's sake! Basically, Carl, we've been seeing each other for over a year. And there's no difference between now and when we first met. No, no, sorry, there is. One, I get to call you direct. And two, I don't have to pay for it. Doors open. Well, I'm worth more than that. I could have stayed with Richard if I wanted meaningless sex. Oh, I thought he'd rear his head. I want a relationship now. I want someone to come home to, someone to talk to, someone to share my life with. Am I scaring the shit out of you? No. We can have all that. How when you're not there? You turn up at my house in the middle of the night, you leave before breakfast, you won't even meet my friends. Every time I ask you to come to the quiz, you always make an excuse. It's not what I want, Carl. Just wait don't a minute. Don't touch me. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what you want. I want you to give up escorting. I've told you, I can't afford to give it up. I can give you money. I don't want your money. You might as well be one of them. Oh, bollocks, you enjoy it, and that's why you won't give it up. Excuse me, would you mind keeping your voices down? Sorry. I want us to be a normal couple. Normal couples don't set each other up. They don't have to. I wanted you to prove me wrong. I haven't done anything. If anyone's in the wrong here, it's you. I mean, it must have taken you ages setting that up, and what for? 
so that you can feel bad about yourself. Are you satisfied now? You can go back to feeling as miserable as you were when you first met me, thinking all men are bastards. I don't think all men are bastards. Just the ones I choose. Is it too much to ask just to be able to trust you? But it doesn't matter what I say, does it? You're never going to trust me. In your mind, I'm guilty no matter what I do. Okay. Look me in the eye and tell me that you don't sleep with your clients. I don't sleep. Look me in the eye. Give me what I want. Don't do this. Don't ruin something good. I didn't do anything. You did. And do you know what? I feel sorry for you. You're going to end up a very lonely woman. But do you know what lonely is? It's sitting in all night, waiting for your partner who's out with someone else. I've been there before. I'm not doing it again. 